So, I am back. I am Hiko Simon, and this is... Rochelle Karp. And this is the final episode of How Not to Screw Up in Japan, for Series 1 at least, anyway. These have been super fun. I, yes. I, I, I want to do another one of these. So, we might, we might do another series at some point. But um, the final one I want to talk about uh, here is something which actually was a thought that was triggered from the last episode. Um, so, Rochelle's company specializes in basically coming in on situations, I mean, obviously, for, for forward-thinking companies, they might come to you early. Proactively, right? Proactively is, of we course, like the best We like proactive. Way. Proactive is good. But let's face it, you know, the, the, the time you're most likely to call a firefighting services company is when your building happens to be on yeah, fire. On fire, yes. So... Tell me about some fires. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> cool. sure. some war so, stories. Come so on. let's see. Um, one type of fire we get a lot is Japanese expatriate who is in the U.S. or some other country and is causing problems. Expect in the U.S. causing problems so in Vegas every weekend, or, or uh, more, more like yelling at people, oh. or making inappropriate jokes, or you know, getting so angry at someone that they start, you know, kind of, you know, not really hard, but like kind of punching them on the arm, like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And really, really harsh. Yeah, we've had that. We've had um, someone wearing a hard hat who got um, expatriate tapping them on the, with a pencil on top of the hard hat. Which would be like maybe not that big a deal in Japan, but in the U.S. that's like violence, right? Well, yeah. assault. Yes, you breathe yeah, in my assault. direction. Assault. Yeah, right, okay. right, right. Exactly. Or a rolled up piece. Here's another one. Rolled up <laughs> piece of paper, and hitting the guy over the head with the rolled up piece of paper. Again, in the U.S., that's a call to HR, and HR says we have to get this to stop. So we get a lot of please turn this expatriate around, type things. That kind of blows my mind in a way because, I mean, I've worked in Japan for 16 years. I mean, maybe they're from Osaka and they watch too much manzai or something that they think they do the slap on the head. They're, they're, uh, well, well it's a lot, of, a lot of manufacturing people. Okay, so old yeah. school, old yeah, school. Yeah, old school, old well, school. And Kansai is very big uh, manufacturing as well, so I can kind of imagine domestic culture playing a factor as well. Kanto mm -hmm. is very, you know, Kanto, people come from all over the place to Kanto, and you, know, yeah. you do get that, no question. Right, but right, right. The, the legendary bosses who beat employees are, are definitely the Kansai companies. Right. They're lovely people. I love Kansai people. Some of my <laughs> best friends are Kansai people, but yes. But okay, so you have these, these renegade beat their foreign employee right, experts. Right, 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 yes. And so w w you put them in the Hannibal Lecter suit. How, how do you control these people? <laughs> no, we get we get one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. One-on-one -on -one coaching yes. how, on how not to beat people. Well, no, actually, well, we, well, there's several different elements. And part of it is making sure they're aware of why what they're doing is really dangerous to them and the company. Yeah. But really what you have to do is get at the root of why is it that they're doing this. Yeah. And in most cases, it's a combination of three different things. Yeah. And the first thing that it is is that they're incredibly stressed out. That they're in culture shock. Most of this, the guys who are the pro we get the problems with yeah. are tanshin funin. Yeah, their their yeah, family's yeah. back in Japan, and so they're fending yeah, for themselves and probably not eating properly and all those things, and they're lonely. Yeah. And then the other thing, the other, the other the second thing, is that they're, it's usually partially an English problem, that they're not communicating with people well or not able to express themselves, so then they start to express themselves in these negative well, ways. It's kind of like sign language if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. And then the other yeah. thing is they typically lack negative feedback skills and that there's all sorts of concerns and issues that they have that they don't know how to effectively communicate. And so if you can give them some feedback skills, then they won't have to feel like they're screaming at people. So this is USHR not knowing what to do with Crazy Joe, the, the, the expert. Calling us up. Calling up the cultural experts. But it sounds like you're basically providing a psychotherapy service. Well, it's, we call it coaching. Okay, it's coaching. 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 That's actually, I like that. Yeah, you can, you can get them onto the sofa quicker that way probably. Right, right, exactly. Um, another typical fire situation would be, okay, we're an American firm and we got bought by a Japanese company a year and a half ago yeah. and we're killing each other. Yeah. Can you help us get along? Or they're smothering us. Or whatever, you know, it's just yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, or like, well, it would have been nice if you had done some post-merger integration when you merged, yeah, you yeah. know, kind of thing. But we, right. we definitely get those kind so of So you do post-merger integration and stuff as well then? Yeah, we do a lot of those. But how do you do that? I mean, there are so many cases where, obviously not since the yen took a nosedive, but before the yen took a right. nosedive, the yen was crazy high for such a long time. 
and Japanese companies keep keep so much cash, and, and they tons were of money and tons of money to spend on acquisitions. Yes, and, and actually, when you think about it, that was a smart investment now because now the yen's tumbled. All that money that they put over in overseas companies is now you right, know right. it's exactly. already paid off. Yeah. But a lot of companies with no experience or capability of dealing with anyone, even probably outside of their prefecture, let alone their country, right. are buying huge companies in the U.S. or wherever. Yes, exactly. And it's not always going particularly well. How could that happen? I don't understand that. That wouldn't be. Wouldn't that be also? I mean, I mean, how, 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 where do we even start with that though? When you're talking yeah. about this, I've seen this, and there mm -hmm. are cases of this. I mean, you know, in this whole series, we didn't even talk about Takata, which I don't know if they even own a foreign <gasps> subsidiary. But you talk about Japanese companies yeah. that are struggling abroad. Yeah. We should get to that at some point. But, yeah. but you talk about these companies that have no foreign communication skills or management skills or anything, right. and they just acquire a foreign subsidiary that they think is just going to work for them as part of their supply chain. Right, 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 right. And they think, oh, we're going to integrate them. Yeah. And a lot of times they just smother them. So how how do they smother them? Oh, what, uh, with, um, what, what they do is that they try and integrate them into the very bureaucratic corporate systems that they have. And they expect, you know, typically Japanese companies expect incredible amounts of information and reports coming from their foreign subsidiaries. Uh, I see, I see. And the U.S. subsidiary doesn't have, like, the people on hand, yeah. either who know how to do that or just doesn't even have enough manpower. Yeah. And in some cases, it's uh, been a fairly independent type of American company that they buy. Yes. That's not sh used to having an overlord, right? right? So even apart from the culture thing, there's that aspect. Right. Yeah. So... Just very, in your 30 second summary of your very, very complex and nuanced job, um, when you have, uh, you know, a very domestic company going overseas, right. and they, I mean, so what are the things that they, what's the process? What, what, are, what, are the, what are the things that when you come in, you start doing the analysis of mm -hmm. what do you guys have to do to be successful with a, with a, with a foreign partner with company? Part, exactly. Well, it depends where we're coming into the process. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we'd like to start before they finish the acquisition, and yeah. then it's, you know, you do analysis on where the likely issues are, and then you do a lot of training for um, each side on understanding each other's cultures. Yeah. Then you do team building, where you put the senior people together and talk about how are we going to make this work, what are going to be the key issues, and, and what, how are we going to plan for it. Yeah. And really what they need to do is build a hybrid culture. Yeah that takes the best of both. Wow, and that is such an easy thing to say. And a very hard thing to do. <laughs> and you know, I mean, uh, I've just thought of another awesome topic. This always happens at the same point in every video. I think of an awesome topic for another video. We're pressed for time, but I might try to do it in terms of what makes successful multi multinational companies successful. Oh, we have All to right. do that, we have okay, to do that. let's do it. That's gonna be the next episode. There's gonna be one more episode. I said this is the last episode, I lied. I lied, there's gonna be one more episode. <laughs> Next week, the final episode, the uh, the the Sayonara one for right. uh, Rochelle. So hang around, okay. and we'll do that. We'll do that video next week on what makes for a successful hybrid culture in multinational company in Japan or abroad involving a Japanese company. So hang around.